Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automation. And I've already actually typed in everything, I'm, um, but I'm going to go through each line and just explain it. Um, the, this, this title here, I, I um, created a title so that um, you can just recognize the automation that you've created in your list of automations later. And the, we're going to email a user a not notification after five days in pending status and to do that you go you you go to select hours since pending is greater than or um, or is 240 um, actually 240 is 10 days so I'm going to type in 120 hours is five days so after five days um, and then this this thing right here is um, something that might be a little bit confusing at first but you want to have ticket privacy set to ticket has public comments so you don't want to accidentally send out a, a, a reminder email to a, a, a ticket that you might have created um, for a customer that they haven't even replied to yet and so let's just make sure that they have they have a a public comment that they're then you're waiting for their response in our case we actually have a, a, a additional status detailed custom ticket field and and then we have a, a solution given pending customer valid validation this is kind of an extra level of um, clarity maybe that if you wanted to create a, a, a custom ticket just to make sure um, if you have more than than the four statuses of that Zendesk natively gives you of new, open, pending, and uh, closed. Um, if you want to have your own, this is certainly not necessary, but we, we happen to have this just to make it a little more clear. And then you want to go down to notify notifications, email user, and then at the very top is requester. And then, in our case, we have we we uh, set the title of the reminder email to waiting for your response, and then we have the issue and a ticket ID, um, and then dear ticket request your name. And under here, under view available placeholders, you'll find a whole bunch of different placeholders. In this case, we're going to keep it nice and simple and just use the customer's first name we have not heard back from you regarding ticket title and that's a little summary of the of the ticket issue and please let us know if you have any questions we look forward to providing the solution to your issue as soon as possible of course you can add your own wording everybody has their um, verbiage that they want to use and then you might want to add a, a little um, placeholder for your your assignee first name or something like that and it's as simple as that. You hit create automation and that's it. I'm trying to keep these emails as short as possible to show you some of the basics of Zendesk. Please check my other videos for how to create views and macros and triggers in under five minutes or under four minutes.